Hi Cancer, this is your reading for October. So it looks like there's something really happy and really blessed going on in a love situation. It looks like someone's deciding they want to be with someone and it's divinely guided, it looks like. It's very, very good. And then over here, we have three positive cards from the Urban Tarot. Happiness, Nine of Cups. That looks like a get-together, outdoor get-together, maybe family, friends, picnic style. And since we have this Ace of Pentacles with this art card, which is actually the Temperance card, but this is probably has to do with art, creating things. When those two are together like that, it tells me that you could make money with something creative you're doing. There's something artistic you might be doing that could bring you money. But yeah, there's some kind of blessing here with a love situation. And there's also something here about possibly remodeling a house. I feel like you're going to just start over with something. You're going to tear stuff down, start over, do a remodel, clean out the garage, clean out the closet, have a rummage cell. I don't know, but... And there's also something here you want to do, but it's not quite a go yet. You can't, you can't get it off the ground or something happens. There's also a possible message here of someone does something reckless because of impatience and it causes a tower moment. So yeah, back to this uh, remodel or artistic, whatever it is, I think you're saving up money for it. You have this bright idea. You want to do something. There's also a message here about, uh, don't, yell or fight or say something in front of children that you might, you know, cause them to, you know, have it on their mind, not be able to sleep. They don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? And then in the Oracle card, affirmation for acceptance. There's a tornado in that card. That book she's reading says fate and there's dice. So maybe you've accepted your fate. Roll the dice in life, you know, type of thing. Hmm. It's interesting. But there was a tornado in that car, and then we have the tower here. This may or may not be, like, a huge tower moment. Um, I kind of had a feeling with that, that was what I was talking about, the whole being impatient. There was a couple of different things this could all be. It could be two or three different things. But, yeah, I don't think that tower in this one is, like, something big and major that's going to happen. You know, a big blow up or fight. I have a feeling it's... It has to do with what I was saying about remodeling, starting over, tearing it down, and rebuilding. And I think it literally has to do with, like, a remodel or doing something new in life. But with all this love stuff going on, I mean, the sun and the star and the page of cups all came out confirming some of this. It's funny because before I laid out cards for you, I was thinking about the Two of Pentacles. And I thought, you know, the Two of Pentacles is basically just being busy trying to do two things at once, just being busy at work and juggling things all at once. And I thought, you know, that's that's all it is, simple as that. Sometimes it kind of annoys me whenever the Two of Pentacles comes out and readers will automatically say, oh yeah, they're juggling two different people at once. They automatically say that, think that every time they see the Two of Pentacles. But in this case, it very well could be <laughs> since it was right next to the lovers. I mean, it just depends on the other cards that come out around it. So there was the lovers there. What was underneath there? Yeah, judgment. I just feel like someone with that lovers is like a choice in love with a judgment and these, the sun and star and page of cups on top of that. I just started laying out more cards on that row right there. But we have the king of swords. So, you know, sometimes the king of swords is really icy, really serious. Or this could be simply whoever is in this, making this love decision is very serious about it. He's going with the facts. He's going with facts instead of what he feels in his heart. It may be a situation like that. You know, some people go with their heart. Some people just go with what they think they should do. And I feel like that King of Swords is thinking in that way. And that's, he's basing his decision off of that, off of the facts. I always say, follow your heart. It doesn't matter what society thinks or what's right, what's wrong. I always say follow your heart, even if it's a weird situation. So I'm going to lay out some more cards here, see what we have next. I think this here is just a simple message of someone needs to pick their self up and stop moping around and being indecisive and just let life take them where it's taking them because some, there's movement here. There's a new dawn, there's a new day, there's a new era, there's going to be new people in your life. 
and there's going to be movement or travels. Simple as that. Yeah, just let, let life take you where it's going to take you, because that's what I see. Things are getting ready to change for you.